So you're new to Warp Forge and wondering, what are these evil doing Chaos Black Legion dudes all about? Well, the Black Legion is a powerful warband of Chaos Space Marines led by the infamous Warlord Abaddon the Despoiler. By the way, he's the guy with the biggest daddy complex literally in the whole universe. They're the most dedicated servants of Chaos, their goal being to bring about the downfall of the Imperium of Man. The Black Legion is known for its ruthless tactics, its formidable war machines, and its ability to corrupt even the most loyal of Imperial soldiers. They are a constant threat to the Imperium, their presence a harbinger of doom and destruction. <laughs> so the Black Legion have four warlords. The first one that you begin with is Harkon Worldclaimer. This guy's really the anti-swarm hero and that's because he's a talent the hellspear assault deals blast damage to adjacent units so good at clearing up lots of uh, small minions it's also pretty good if you want an all-out aggro deck next up we've got Sila. Sila really offers flexibility being the psyker of the faction he generates one of three random gifts each turn though i've got to admit the randomness does hold this guy back from what would otherwise be some pretty powerful abilities next up we have gala on the pious now Galaros is really interesting, his Litany of Despair, Desp Despair gives Vulnerable 2 to an enemy troop. So that means if you were to deal 1 damage to the enemy, it would actually end up doing another 2 because of the Vulnerable. So it would actually deal 3 damage. What that does is obviously mean that the Litany of Despair is quite good at controlling enemy troops. Um, and even if, and the addition, sorry, is if he does actually destroy a unit, it gains uh, a Dark Pact if you have a unit on the board. So uh, Galeron is quite well suited for a control archetype. And last but not least, we have the big daddy himself, Abaddon the Despoiler. And honestly guys, you will quickly learn when you play Warp Forge that Abaddon is the best warlord in the faction. And he really can do everything. Very consistent in that he can give, he can heal himself for two or he can give a dark pact to uh, a, a, an allied troop. And so Abaddon, uh, you will see, can do very good stuff. He can build an aggro deck very well or a combo deck very well. But he's also got the health, the 40 health. And that can help him build a late game control deck as well. All right, so let's talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses of the Black Legion. Well, the main thing is that the units, for the most part, have very big, well, very big stats. So you are able to build very good mid mid-range builds and you're able to take over the board state and out trade your opponents they also have very good counters to go wide and they can be built if they as either an aggro deck with good combo finishes or you can build more of a control package using cards like spawndom execution to remove your enemy board until you get to the late game and drop the big black crusade where you get to deploy four random troops from your deck that's a board state that most opponents cannot answer Another main strength of the Black Legion is a faction keyword, Dark Pact. Now, this allows you to choose one of four gifts from the gods, and that gives you a lot of flexibility, and you're able to kind of decide what is most needed for the situation that you face. Do you need a vanguard to survive? Perhaps you want to put camouflage on the big unit you just played, meaning that your opponent can't remove it with spells. The Dark Pact is really what the Chaos Black Legion are all about, and it's both a strength and a weakness as one of the cons is that it is a little bit overly reliant on this uh, mechanic and that does mean that Black Legion perhaps have fewer archetypes than some of the other factions. The only other drawback really to Chaos is that the Warlords can be a little bit random and a bit situational. You can't always do the thing you want to do on the turn and the only exception to that is Abaddon and that is why you see him as the more popular of the Warlords. Now when it comes to collecting I always strongly recommend, whether you're a free-to-play player or you like to throw lots of money at a game, I do think if you can afford to do it, that the one thing that is absolutely worth spending a little bit of money and is excellent value for money are the premium campaigns. I've, I've ended up going for all of them for each of the factions. And you can pick your favorite faction if it's Black Legion, for example. Um, and what that will do is we can open up the campaign here and you can see the first node as we earn our daily missions and get points to spend to unlock things. So on the left here, this is kind of what we would get anyway. But you can see on the right, there's an additional reward if we have the premium campaign, in this case, a legendary wildcard. 
And that continues throughout the campaign. Again, as you collect your dailies, you'll be able to unlock specific, unlock specific cards. You'll be able to unlock additional booster packs, as well as crystals, which are resources to spend. So there's an awful lot to be gained. Of course, there's also cosmetics like card backs and uh, titles as well. And uh, the best thing about the premium campaign is you also have uh, a, a card pack, a booster pack at the end of the campaign tree, which you can continue to repurchase. And so this means that as you do your dailies, even once you've completed the campaign, you can continue to unlock additional booster packs for your favorite faction. Now, when it comes to what do you spend those all important legendary wild cards on, I would say that Abaddon is actually worth uh, spending your first a legendary card on just because he is absolutely the best warlord and is definitely worth getting as early as you can. Chaos Black Legion aren't overly reliant on their legendaries like some of the other factions so that could be a pro or a con depending how you look at it um, but certainly from a collector's point of view it does make things a little bit easier. I would probably say that the Possessed Champion is a really good one to go for early on. This is a card that's pretty much in every single Chaos deck at the kind of highly competitive level and outside of that you've got things like dark, dark oratory which allow you to put a dark pact on all friendly troops and i would even say that the sword of dragnaean is also very good because this really unlocks the sort of more aggro or com big combo finishers for the faction as well now outside of the legendary cards one of the key cards you're going to want to aim for quite early on is the card called Spawndom. Now Spawndom is in every Chaos deck worth its salt and basically this allows you to deploy a Chaos Spawn for every enemy unit and that includes the, when it says units, that includes the Warlord. This is one of your really good combat mechanics for the faction so that if your opponent gets ahead you can play Spawndom and help you to kind of clear up the board. It's very much an AoE card. In addition to that and actually something that complements that very very well is the Bringer of Decay. Bringer of Decay has pretty decent, pretty, pretty decent all-round stats, but the real power of this card comes in the fact that all enemies have vulnerable. Yes, that includes the Warlord. So if you can imagine that you could do uh, two damage from uh, each of the flanking spawndom that we just talked about, that suddenly becomes three damage because of vulnerable. So this is a very, very potent card, and it allows you to, if you time it correctly, to come up with some pretty nice combos. In addition to that, some of the other mainstays you will see are the Heldrake Strike. This is our big AoE in the faction. And last but not least, got to give a shout out to the Venom Crawler. One of the best troops in the game. Uh, it's actually a, a, a vehicle, not infantry. But the good thing about this unit is it has absolutely fantastic stats for 6 energy. And it also comes with the armor. But importantly, it makes all of your stratagems cost one less. So this is the kind of quintessential mid-range mid, mid, mid unit that makes a lot of Chaos fa Factions tick. Now that's all great BJ, but what do the decks look like? What should I be working towards? Well, deck building is part of the fun of any card game, but here is, to give you a little bit of inspiration, here is a really good Black Legion beginner deck. Now, all of the cards in this deck are either the, um, the, the beginner cards so, or they're rare. So the green is the rare, and the uh, the grey cards, these are the cards that you kind of start with in the faction. So I've tried to make this very, very collector friendly. You should be able to get this deck in the first few days of playing really. And the only exception that I've made in this deck, the only one that isn't a kind of not a, a common or rare, is I have gone for one epic card and that's the Venom Crawler. As I said earlier, this card is just so good. It's one of the best cards in the game. I would do everything you can to try and unlock this early and I would add that into the deck. And I think actually this is a pretty nice beginner friendly deck. Now, as your collection grows, obviously you're going to be able to build more competitive decks. And this is an example of my Abaddon Black Legion deck that I'm running right now in the top 15 on ladder. And it's very, very powerful. It makes use of the very beefy bodies, but also it has some interesting combos in there. Things like the Murderous Desires, the Le Legacy of Vengeance and the Sword of Dragnum, and these things allow us to basically make a giant warlord who can attack twice to finish the game. So more generally speaking, when you're playing with your Black Legion, 
try to mulligan for your early game troops. And try to play on curve, and that will basically mean that you're generally ahead due to slightly bigger statted units. I hope you found this video very useful today. If you do like this content, then please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Warp Forge content. I do wish you the very best of luck with your Black Legion collection, and may the Dark Gods bestow their many blessings upon you.